today we are pleased to present one of these insightful lectures entitled Master the Mind to Fully Manifest Buddha Nature Part 1 of 3 on Between Master and Disciples given in English on March 3, 2005 in Hungary. I thought I looked good because uh, the dim light in my trailer, they give me only like uh, 300 watts or something. And if uh, got uh, electricity, or heater, and cooker, and oil, so the light is not bright. So I thought I was good looking. <laughs> Food is good. <laughs> It doesn't look like the one that I knew. <laughs> it's okay. You guys all right now? Yes. Oh, wow. Do we still can house all these people? <laughs> yeah. The bathroom still can accommodate. <laughs> you don't know. Apart from generosity, we have many other things. You know, especially karma. You have to take care all the way. Yeah. If not, it doesn't work. Where do I put this? Here? I shall. <laughs> take me before. Oh, maybe it works here. No, it doesn't. Hey, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> They don't always work, never mind. I probably have to design some new earrings, you know, with the microphone <laughs> chip attached to it. But there's a, a choker, you know? Yeah, ah, there's a best position. Why didn't I think about that? There's a <laughs> another neck? Uh, no, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, well, well, it's not a good design, is it? By the way, this is not my coat. They bought it for me. I mean, not my design, eh? Turn, stay there. Where should go? Hi. Yeah. The problem with us is that, I mean, with you guys, well, since I'm here, I might as well include myself. <laughs> the problem with us is you spend too much electricity. You know? <laughs> and even though we have high voltage, <laughs> a lot of money to pay, but we spend too much watts around here, especially winter. Winter, we need a lot of electricity, yeah? So we spend a lot. Oh man, so cold. Uh, originally, this farm has enough, yeah? But now we need a lot of, of, of uh, this kind of thing, yeah? radiator. And if we put gas, it's good at so. But then either it's noisy or it's glowing. And also a lot of buying, hey? Yeah. We could also have a big gas tank, but they didn't do that. Yeah. And uh, if the bathroom is full, we could have somebody come and they take it away. It's, uh, it's technically, it's not always good. Ne? I prefer to see you, but sometimes it's, it's difficult, yeah? So do not try to bring more people here when not necessary, all right? It has nothing to do with love, okay? It has to do with technic <laughs> technical problem, <laughs> even with such a thing as bathroom and toilet, yeah? Which we <laughs> sounds very spiritual. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's not very spiritual things, but, you know, we have to take care of them so that the uh, spiritual aspect can also be taken care of. Just uh, 
Some of the people don't listen, you know. Call everybody. Number one, low level, no good. Number two, you know, technical problem. All right? I give, uh, give people here a break. Give the staff here a break. Yeah? Don't do that. All right? If there's a more chance, another chance, I let you know. I always do. Yeah? Do not try to force your will upon my will. And do not try to force problem into this center. Understand this? Yeah? Yes. Whatever I have approved, it's okay, harmless for you. But uh, if somebody else come here, it's not up to the level, yeah? And we have the gift and all that. I told you, if somebody below the level, they're still on the negative side, and if I give them this power, it's like giving power to the negative. Do you understand or you do not understand? Yes. I told you not to call all the people at home, yeah? The people I already approved can come. First, because we don't have room. Second, for the level, the technical problem, yeah? You don't force things upon me or anybody when it's not possible. Yeah? And you break everybody else as well, yeah? You never use your position for selfish ends. Understand this? Otherwise you're doomed. You're bad in bad shape, bad shape. There's a difference between love, yeah? And just uh, want to be a good guy. Yeah? And I'll be the bad guy or he'll be the bad guy because tell the people no. Whoever I approve, I take responsibility and we know how many people can fit around here. We don't have enough staff, we don't have power, manpower here. You do know all that, you all know that, right? Even if you are high level, you have to train your mind. Understand this? You're high level because God's grace, yeah? It's not necessarily always it's your merit, okay? I try many different means to lift you up and you know that, yeah? Just like you earn money yourself by your intelligence, by your diligence, then you have money, you have one million dollars. On the other hand, somebody else rich, he's zillion dollar. You do something good for him or he just feels generous. He gives you one million dollar. You don't have to work for it. But it's still money, it's valid, it's all the same. But be careful how you spend it, yeah? Don't use it for a bad end. And have to train yourself to use it in a different good way. Similarly, even if you are high-level Buddha, you still have to be aware, yeah? Because you still can fall. I would not like you to, but it's up to you, eh? It's up to you how you spend one million dollars, eh? Nobody cares, but you will be in trouble if you waste it, yeah? I'm home all day, eh? I'm right here. But can you imagine, I've been busy all day long calling and uh, meditating. Meditating not even for the universe. I'm meditating for some problem, okay? Some very physical and stupid and nonsensical problem that the Maya have caused me. Or not caused me, but caused some of the other people near to me or some of the pets or whatever. You understand? They use them always because they're lower level and they always get them and then they get me. And sometimes I'm more tired uh, solving this small petty problem than uh, doing other work for you. You understand? Say so it's not you or just uh, mostly from the low level karma, yeah? And it, it gets me any time. It's kind of a, it's silly though. <laughs> silly, but there was a lot of time, yeah? I could have come here, talk to you, yeah? I, instead, I'm on the phone and I meditate on the problem and see the future, what's going on, what to have to do. This way, what consequence, that way, what consequence, this way, what consequence, that way, what will happen? Yeah? There are many ways to solve a problem, of course, and I have to see which every of them, and it takes some time. Physical problem for me takes longer time to take care than spiritual problem or any other problem, yeah? yeah? Anyway, so I didn't see you, but I always remember you, eh? I know you are here. <laughs> I wanted to see you all the time, but just up to now, up to this last minute, 
I'm on the phone, busy, okay? Call in all directions, solving different problems. And then meanwhile, I have to meditate. Now, I just had my breakfast. Breakfast is just 6.30. Yeah, well, it seems like morning, 6.30 p.m. <laughs> yeah, but that's good. I just want to tell you I'm busy, huh? Really busy. I didn't ignore you, yeah? I know you came from a long way and I'm really, you know, uh, longing to take care of you, yeah. Just sometime it's not possible, yeah? And tomorrow morning maybe I have to go all the way into afternoon. So just meditate. If I'm not here, I'm always with you in my heart, all right? I'm only one, okay? I cannot delegate too many things. And if I delegate to some other people, they mess it up as well, you know? I cannot delegate everything. Very little thing I can delegate. So spiritual uh, issues, for me, it's easy to take care. It just, the Maya always makes a different problem. Ne? Okay. Yeah, anyway, I will take care of it, don't worry. <laughs> it just happened that you are here, and I'm sorry. I don't see you, but if you're not here, I always do. You know, always a lot of problem. One so another come. One so another come, and I don't even have a chance to stay anywhere too long. Uh, Jesus said uh, the birds have their nests and the beasts have their den, but the Son of God has nowhere to lay his head. It's uh, it's almost true. Well, I have a pillow though, but <laughs> yeah. I could take it everywhere, no? But I don't. I couldn't even have a pillow for a long time. Uh, I have to have just small luggage. Can't even take a pillow. So whatever, yeah. As long as uh, I can see you, I'm fine. You know, I don't mind. It's just you don't mind if I don't see you the whole day, okay? Uh, not that I neglect you or I'm fed up with you or anything. Nada, okay? Not like that. I love you very much. Yeah. Thank you. You came a long way, and I. I'm just a little upset because we don't have a better place for you. A little upset. Yeah. And then you have to sit all day or night in the same place. I'm, I'm upset. I cannot tell you a lie that I'm happy about it. Not at all. Yeah? But that's the way it is, okay? If you're tired, just, just go sleep somewhere, no? If you can bear the pen, just go in the pen. If you can bear a trailer, go trailer, yeah? My trailer, no, eh? <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> uh, anyway, you're too late. The dogs already <laughs> booked. They booked their place already. <laughs> yeah. They complained before you. So they got it. Yeah. <laughs> Complain does does pay sometimes. <laughs> There's a person from uh, Finland. Uh, Finland. You just arrived this afternoon, and the other guy just arrived too. How are you? Okay. What are you doing in your center or in Austria? In Austria, I'm a farmer. Yeah, and then what else you do? I mean, for the center, for the people. The center for the people. I don't know. What for they your, want. Huh? What they want? No, in center. <laughs> are you helping or anything? Sometimes, yeah. yeah sometimes. What um, kind of farmer are you? Organic farming. Ah, so do you sell it to the center, to uh, the people? As well. I Little don't bit? sell it, I bring it to the center. Ah, good, good. So they can take what they want. You just offer? No uh, cost? No cost. No. Wow, okay. Good for you, good investment. <laughs> <laughs> and the other guy, what do you do in Finland? I am studying in Finland. Huh? I am actually I'm Estonian, but I'm just... Uh, you what? I am Estonian by nationality, but I am just living in Finland and I'm oh. studying there. Okay, Estonian? Yes. Where is Estonian, by the way? Next to <laughs> Estonian? It's just Estonian. next to Finland. Estonian, but where? Near Baltic countries. Yes, yeah, one of the Baltic countries. Very small country. Estonia, Latvia, near Russia. Near Russia? Yes, yes, yes. Between yes. Russia and Poland? Yeah. Okay. So you live in Finland all the time? Like five years. Since five years? And you became Finnish? No. No, you're still Estonian? Yes. Ah, okay. 
But you don't look pretty heavy, eh? Don't look like a stone. <laughs> Estonian, I know. Estonian. Sounds like stone. <laughs> Never mind. You good. You good. It's good. I hope that the Buddhas, the new one, will try to serve people more. Humility does help a Buddha, even though he don't need it. Does help. Because if you let the arrogance come to your head, if you work hard and everybody worship and respect you, and you suddenly become a little bit too confident, yeah? The mind, eh? The mind, eh? The mind has, is never gone to the fifth level, understand? Can never. The mind of our brain, no, the mind is not the brain. But the mind works through the brain, and that is even worse. <laughs> So it's not just that you have some billions points, you become Buddhas and that's that, yeah? You have to remember to refine your character, yeah? And to train your mind to be efficient in every way is possible. And to direct the mind always into service, yeah? Unconditional love. It's not because you scold your dogs, you don't love your dog, eh? It doesn't mean like that, yeah? You have to do what you have to do, no? Nah? It's not a way, yes, 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 and humble, humble, that's not it. You have to have everything. You have to have a mighty determination, yeah? Like a lion. And you have the, to have a very loving heart, so soft, like a feather, that every little thing moves it. Understand? And your mind, your determination must be like a mountain. Once you decide that you know what is good, stand by that. Yeah? The soul is okay already. The soul, I take care. Now you have to take care of your mind, your character, your heart. Because it's possible that even though you became a Buddha, but your mind has stood still for a while, rusty and you forget to be vigilant, to be master of the mind, yeah? The soul master take care, go up, you know, even stone can be taken care and go up, it doesn't matter. Not much to be proud of. Now you know fifth level is nothing anyway. That's why Buddha confessed that he is only human like everybody else, and he became Buddha. So and everyone else, all his disciples, will also become Buddha. But that's it. It's just like in a university, one smart student are picked, chosen by a professor to help him sometimes with the homework, yeah, and uh, to uh, explain some um, uh, subject, yeah, when the professor is not there. That happens in university sometimes, yeah, so you know it, all right? Which is good, but even then it's so rare. Remember only three? No, now four. One more from France. And now one more from Finland. And one more from Austria. Oh, Estonia. That's another Buddha. The only one female and the whole is a male kingdom. Look at that. Congratulations. Gratuliere. Felicidad. <laughs>
No, now four. One more from France. And now one more from Finland. And one more from Austria. Oh, Estonia. That's another Buddha, the only one female, and the whole is a male kingdom. Look at that. Congratulations. Gratuliere. Felicidad. <laughs> it's kind of sudden, eh? I should have told you and guessing around and it's more fun, no? <laughs> oh dear. Oh, we missed the game. Mm. It's rare, eh? It's rare. Even you meditate all these days and I give you the gift and all that, none of you has come up. Yeah, but the, those, they already you know, at the border, almost there, or oh, no, no, at the highest four levels. So when they come here, I just lift them up easy, no problem. Just one hand, tuck. Okay? But they have come here. If they didn't come here, they wouldn't have had it. Yeah? It's good. Anyway, even though uh, the, the graduate Buddhas is so rare, and the high level saint is hard, that hard, but still have a little faults, you know, like a diamond, the flawless is difficult to find, all right? Because uh, it was a bad time of the planet, and everything go downhill, no? And then so, the beings also under big pressure. We don't have that many Buddha. Of course, it wasn't a golden age on, on earth. Now it is, eh? Mm. So, we have uh, five Buddhas, six Buddhas in Europe. That's very good already. <laughs> Twenty years hard work, six Buddhas. It's not a very lucrative business, is it? <laughs> All right, never mind. Uh, congratulations, are you too? <laughs> Did you understand what I was saying? Think it later, I know. You're still thinking, huh? Yeah, yeah. It's good, it's good. Yeah. You have to think, I know that. You still don't understand what it is, yeah? You don't understand yet, okay? You have become Buddha, fifth level, both of you, yeah? And not all of them are, okay? But never mind, don't understand, understand later, later on. They, they will make you understand all these people, they will. Um, we can uh, celebrate a little bit, hey? Yeah? Okay. There, there. Can you, uh, can you uh, give it to them? Hola, 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 hola. Yeah. Everybody take one at uh, the front first. <laughs> Over there, the front first and then the front pass to the back and run around. And be quiet, okay? Just take a little bit and run around. Oh, it takes so long, eh? Okay, let, let me do it. It's quicker. <laughs> Fun, eh? 
he likes dogs, you know. I give things to my dog, he hides it somewhere and then come back for more. And then I thought he doesn't have. Okay, let her eat all and then go over there deep. <laughs> eat after. <laughs> Smart dog. What shall we do now? You were done, right? Can I have a question? Huh? Yeah? Does this clothes make me fat? <laughs> no? No. Not fat? No. Uh, Hungarian tradition. Tradition. Yeah, traditional Hungarian. Huh? Oh, really? Princess? Oh, it's too, pre too simple to be a princess. <laughs> few dollars and then you have a princess. <laughs> yeah? Okay, thank you very much. I was just kidding. I imitate the Mulan, you know? <laughs> the big guy, choppy guy, he, he wear woman clothes to go inside the palace, pretend to be concubine. I said, does this clothes make me fat? <laughs> Just kidding, man. kidding, kidding, kidding. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay. You know this city, the country is funny. One side Buddha, one side pest. You know that, huh? Yes. How do they know that the pest always follow the Buddha? Right? And besides, many people in in in, in Buddha pest, they, they 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 make themselves look like Buddha. I saw many yesterday, you know, they, they shave their head a lot. Yeah. The chef in one of the kitchen, they, they shave the head and they come out, look at me and say, Oh, you look like a Buddha. <laughs> Perhaps because he lives in Budapest. <laughs> a lot of people shave their head. And when we drive home, I saw many driver or non driver passing by, they're all bald heads, you know, like the Buddhist monk. <laughs> it's very funny. Maybe it's a fashion now. Yeah. Fashion in Europe or in Hungary? Or all Europe now? Fashion? Ah, oh, that saved us a lot of problems, eh? Where are we? The Buddha is easy to train, the mind is not. <laughs> so, it's not every practitioner are picked by heaven to be a master. No. Suppose I'm not on earth, eh? And some, some human or some practitioner from the third world upward are picked to be a master eh? for this planet. Then he also should have good character, you know, charming personality and so And above all, an iron stamina to work, 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 work and uh, enduring all kinds of hardships and pressure. So it's easy to become a Buddha. It's not easy to stay like one. You know? <laughs> but I do hope and I think these five will stay, and keep developing, not coming down to a lower level. Yeah? And other people, please, please hurry up. <laughs> Right? Anything that you are attached to and you know it's not good for you, try to yeah, buy big scissors, you know. If it is a small scissor and I cannot cut them, buy a big, you know, the gardener scissor, long, long blade and you can cut from here even, you know what I mean? You saw the, the gardener scissors? Long from there to there. You stay here and you cut, 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 yeah? And then some even longer up, you know, so they can cut branches up there and just, they just pull the string, tuck, and then a branch come down. <laughs> Maybe a lot of you need those, huh? Big one. The big scissors, they could cut branches, trees. Right. I am the one who would like all the people to come the most, but I cannot, okay? Not the, the moment, maybe in the future, maybe when they hire a little bit, then they will not throw dirt on everybody when they come here, and they will not cause trouble, yeah? And they can come. And no need to force things to happen, eh? Yeah. When the child cannot walk yet, 
and don't force him to run. We cause trouble, and we hurt him and hurt the family members who have to take care of him afterward if he broke legs or something. Do you understand? Yes. Really? Yes. Otherwise, this time only the third level per person can come. Minimum is a third border, third level, second level, but higher border, you know, next to the third, not not next to the the second level border, yeah. The border is here, here, and then he stay there next to the second border. That is still low, and the negative can still hook him a little bit here and there, you know, poke him here and there, or the feet still can connect, and may um, make trouble. Understand now? Yeah, we can wait, you know. Yeah, we can wait. Like uh, this day we take some fruit which are already ripe and next day we take another batch of fruit already ripe and the day after we take another batch of fruit. If we're forced to take the green fruit down, it's, uh, we cannot eat it anyway, you know? And it's bad for the harvest, no? We take all the green and then nothing ripe later on and we can't even use it. And uh, take up space in the barn and in the farm and nothing, nothing good for anybody. Okay, never mind about that. It's very difficult for a person who has grown up, became a Buddha, and also be obedient at the same time. Because he's not used to it. He became already a family man, yeah, and everybody in the family already listened to him. He's used to just telling everybody what to do. And then he doesn't know what it's like to listen. Always da 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 da. You know, talk back and don't listen very well. And even listen well, don't do it. It's very difficult to train your mind, yeah? I don't care if you are Buddha or not, it's easier for me sometimes to use a no Buddha, yeah? That, that's, that's why. You would think that I keep all the high level Buddha next to me, no, it's not necessary, yeah? If you have humility and uh, obedient quality, that's enough for me. No need IQ, no need Buddha, nothing. <laughs> Because I can use it, yeah? Easier if you just do what I tell you. Very easy. And I don't ask for world peace, you know? I just ask, for example, keep a walkie-talkie next to you all the time, 24 hours, in case I call. Really, I don't ask you anything more. Very, very small things. And I really am happy if you do it. Just very small thing like that. Just keep a walkie-talkie with you. And I even bought the walkie-talkie. I bought it on the airplane because I didn't have time to shop. I bought it because I know we're going to use it here, and I give one each and one for me. You don't even do much. Just one thing. It hurt me to have to, to take care of all these small things. And be, besides, I have thousand things other to do. Once you do one little thing um, wrong, everything else is like a chain. One thing leads to another. And then you mess up the whole world because of that. And this is like a circle like that. So everything you do in life, do not think that it is a small thing. Yeah? You just do your small things perfectly and the world is perfect. Because the world is made up of all the small particles of things. Your body is made up of lovely, tiny, little invisible cells. Invisible to the naked eye. Yeah? And if one or two of them kaput, yeah, the whole body is in trouble. You know that? These eyes of yours, the people, so small, eh? But if you don't have those, your whole life is jeopardized. You know that or not? Don't say it is a small thing. Or your eardrum is about this much, huh? But if you don't have those, Oh, your whole life is different. Your whole world is falling apart. Do not be too proud if you are successful. If the uh, disciple or the fellow practitioner worship you or something, do not be too proud about it. Understand? You have to always check your speech, your thoughts, and your action. Yeah, whether it is correct, whether it is normal. Because if you're too proud, too confident, you could do wrong. Yeah, 
like uh, sometimes when you're too happy or too sad, you can you drive the car. Sometimes you're not careful. Yeah. So always be very vigilant about what you think, what you do. Otherwise, it's always mess up. Not just your life, everybody else's life. Understand? And we can't afford that because we cause karma. Every time we do something wrong, we cause karma. And if you do something wrong against me, that is worse. I'm not saying that so that you do things for me. No, it's the truth. You know that, right? Because if you mess up with my life or my schedule, you mess up with a lot of people. And that's why it's big karma. Not just because I'm a master or anything, yeah? Not just that. On top of that, you mess up with uh, the whole world's life and, 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 and karma, everything. You obstruct, yeah? The mission of the master. And that influences the whole planet or the whole universe, even, and your karma is huge. Do you understand? That's why most of the time my life is very simple already. Yeah? I don't ask you to do anything. I'm worried if I ask you, you mess it up. But uh, because here, I'm here and, you know, he knows everybody and have the uh, contact with everybody, so he has to do it. Né? If I could do that myself, I would also. I would just sit on the computer or the telephone, call everybody all day, and then I cannot be here. So just one little thing like that, anybody could do. If you really, you know, care, you would do it well. It's so easy. It's not that. It's not that difficult to to keep a walkie-talkie in your pocket, is it? Huh? Or to keep a, a telephone in your pocket? I keep my phone all the time. I have to, because somebody else somewhere else, you know, the one that need to call me, have to call me. So if I could do it. You could, yeah? I don't like this. Nobody. Maybe you, you also don't like, nobody likes it, but I have to, eh? Well, you, you should, yeah? If I keep the walkie-talkie with me all the time, you could do that. I keep the phone everywhere, even here I keep it. Because for the moment, a lot of things going on. Anytime the phone might be, I have another phone, but the two phones. <laughs> But this one is more for like official, you know, bank or overseas or something like that. So I have to carry all the time. Well, I try to tell them not to call in this some um, this hour, but sometimes I just keep it in case emergency. They have to, né? Treat your life like an emergency. Then you 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 are more alert and and your mind is more sharp and your IQ is more heightened. Do things like you might die tomorrow because you you might, huh? Nobody can guarantee that you live over tomorrow, no? And sometimes you say, oh, never mind. The master will come and tell me before I die. Yeah, the master come, but you sleeping, huh? Tell you, but you don't hear. Understand? For example, then you also don't know. <laughs> A lot of people don't know that. Yeah, sometimes that I have to tell somebody else, like a sister inform the brother, you know what, Master come to me last night and tell you you will be dead in a week. Oh, really? Why didn't she tell me? <laughs> yeah, I wish I could. <laughs> yeah. So, all right, just be vigilant, yeah? Every minute, every minute. There was a president in Vietnam a long time ago. He was assassinated. I don't care by whom, it's just political stuff. Né? And then the American came in after he died. Né? He wasn't a, a saint like you. Eh? He was just a normal Catholic. He was a hero of the country, that's it. But of course, maybe he was a saint. Eh? He was a saint, yeah. But not like you, eh? with title and funny stuff and disciples of uh, Supreme Master and all that stuff. He's a quiet, simple day-to-day -day saint. And you know what he said when he was still a president? I remember I was only 15 or 16 or 14 something, you know? In Vietnam they put uh, some slogan on the street. They write it on the uh, cement board or something. If something is good, they write it. I write the uh, saying of, some, of the heroes, of the sages, from ancient time of Vietnam up to present, yeah? And one of the sayings belonged to that president. Uh, he said like this, 
I am not a saint. I just uh, wake up early, go to bed late, take care of all details in my life, every second, every minute. He said he take care of everything, just second after second, minute after minute, every second, every minute. He take care of his responsibility every second, every minute. That is really, is really the, the, the wise thing to say and to do. If you can just do that, then I don't even need you to be a Buddha. Yeah? Then you will be a Buddha automatically and everybody will be very happy with you. And you will bring joy, happiness and order into this world and peace will come. Do not think what you do don't affect anybody. No, it does a great, great deal. Don't be cheated by Maya, all right? Just do your best. Always be diligent, be vigilant. Do not listen to your habit, listen to the mind. I always do this um, family head, you know, I always do this before, why can't I do it now? You are different now, yeah? Get used to it. Get used to that you are saying, get used to that you are Buddha, okay? And do things like one. Is that uh, difficult? Yeah, huh? Try. Not really. If, if you just leave the ego alone, do it every second, every minute as life fresh. First time and do the best or like the last time. Do everything like the first time and the last time. Do everything like everything else, hang on it. Every other life hang on it because it might. Other people's life might hang on what you're doing. We all connected, you know that? Yeah? Every time is different, every day is different. My life is always in, always in emergency. Remember this, okay? My life is an emergency. You never know, I just leave you next second, I will not even be able to tell you, even if I want to. I always have to do that. Understand this? Yes. So it's now, now, only this minute, this second. There's no next time, no tomorrow, and every day different. I left and come here, none of my household person know anything about it. And uh, except the one that come with me, none know that I'm here. None know that I even left the country. Because sometimes it's not necessary to tell them, sometimes it's better that they don't know for their peace of mind, so they don't cause trouble, they don't panic, all kind of things. So most of the problem, emergency problem, anything, I just keep all by in my heart, all by myself. Even the person next to me only know whatever he needs to know. He doesn't know everything. So I have to plan everything, I have to meditate on everything, and I have to take care of everything individually and differently. Tell everybody to do different things. And not that even the next person don't even know the other person what he's doing because instruction is different. If they know too much, they mess up with each other. I must say that, but I think it's better to do this, and then it's messed up. It's always the same. Sometimes I instruct somebody to do, a resident to do something, and then the next person overheard it, just half of the sentence through the phone, and then later could influence the one that I instruct what to do, to do opposite of what I said. Can you imagine? It happens all the time. So whomever I tell just one person or two person, whoever necessary, and because the negative mind can trick you to, to do the opposite and, and uh, obstruct my mission, you know, or whatever I want other people to do. Can you imagine that, huh? I'm already very careful to tell each person one, but sometimes they come in and overheard it. Half a sentence on half of what I told and still can tell the old person do the opposite. And when I know about it, it's too late already. I can't just sit there 24 hours and calling him, what you do now, what you do now, every minute telling him, asking him what to do because once I instruct some person what to do, I have other instructions for other people and I have other things to do. I have the whole universe to take care. The things I do outside is very little. 
It's what I do inside. It's more. And the inside things also take time sometimes. The automatic thing for the inside is different, but the thing connecting with people, karma and and, and network oh, takes some time. You have to meditate to dispel all this, some heavy karma. I have to meditate a long time to remove the obstruction and to construct a new pattern so that the person can follow that instead of this. And it takes really a lot of time. Do you understand now? Yes. I don't just uh, always sit here and laugh up and then all things gone. Because karma has weight and has cost. So it's heavy and it's expensive. By all means, even financially. So even in the future you have a chance. You always want to help me, all of you, I know that. But if you have a chance to help me, just do exactly what I tell. Or ask me what I want. So don't don't just do the way you you decide because you will mess up more than you have. So rather you don't help or you help the way I want it, okay? Because I'm the one responsible for what I want, no? Yes. If it's wrong or right, I will take care of it. You should not think I'm wrong and then do it the way you want, without informing me in, in advance even of your good idea. Everybody will look on you as a doctor, no longer a sloppy student, so be careful, all right? Yes. Never mind, it's okay. I told you already it's easy to, to get a Buddha than to train the mind, eh? So, do not have an illusion that a person become a Buddha, he is perfect already immediately. That's the point. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. So don't poison him further than he already suffocated with. Ne? Not too much praising, not prostrating, not giving too much stuff, not always, uh, uh, you know, bowing and all the stuff. Leave him alone, yeah? Leave the Buddhas alone or he die quick. And then you lose one Buddha and it's already rare to find. Kapish? Yeah, okay, good. You've grown up enough. Don't make me have to carry all the time. And it's even difficult to carry you if you want to stamp your feet in one place. Mm-hmm. Do not contaminate uh, this place by your physical attachment and desire. Leave everything outside the gate. Come here as a reborn baby. And if it's too much to ask, then you don't have to come next time. If there is a next time, who knows? If it's too much or if it's enough, I just decide to go away. Even a master or God, a physical body, don't live forever, no? What for? It's all right to have a partner and, you know, friends. But you should be an independent individual. Only that can you go up high to higher level and even help your partner. So even if you love your partner so much, concentrate on spiritual practice. It's not the holding hand that is lifting one or both of you up. It's a holding on to heaven. You have to practice like there is no tomorrow for you. It's all about inside things, it's not the outside. Some people, they are near each other and they work together as a couple, but they're not attached. So you don't smell the atmosphere of of possessiveness. Some people might sit away from each other, but uh, their heart is always, you know, like glue or something, together, crisscross the whole room. Because people can see your uh, energy, you know. When you're thinking of somebody in such an attached way, your energy run over there. Every thinking, every action have energy, and, and you can see it. And sometimes it's not very pretty. If it's too low level, it's too physical, it's not pretty. And a, a high spiritual person can sense it or can smell it or can see it. That kind of possessive and attached energy disturbs the atmosphere. I hope you understand what I'm saying.